Recent needed repairs has put Winona's Woodlawn Cemetery behind the financial eight ball. I recently spoke with cemetery board members Tom Sloggy and Gordy Peterson about their situation and how you can help get the park ready for Memorial Day. Winona's Woodlawn Cemetery is a beautiful place. Like most cemeteries, it is peaceful and serene. The sounds of birds occasionally interrupted by the conversation of folks out for a stroll or a bike ride through the cemetery. But recent repairs to Woodlawn's infrastructure have put a pinch on the cemetery's pocketbook. Woodlawn Cemetery Board President Tom Sloggy said that's where the financial woes began. The issues that we have had here, the financial issues, have been to address certain uh, infrastructural deficiencies. We've had to replace uh, a couple of bridges, two, three bridges to be exact. Uh, a fourth bridge was replaced, but that was at the good graces of the city of Winona. But the other three were our responsibility. Additionally, we had some walls that had been collapsing and we had to spend significant amounts of money to repair them. We've had water pumps that have failed uh, and we've had to replace them, had to establish new wells and which required the employment of uh, electricians and plumbers and that sort of thing. So we have spent down uh, pretty much uh, the, the cushion money that we've had uh, to carry us forward. Additionally, we're required by the state of Minnesota to set aside 20% of all of our income to uh, fund a, uh, a sinking uh, fund uh, to assure continuation of the cemetery. Uh, it's very restrictive on what we can use and uh, it, it, it really it puts a crimp on us as far as using it for the operations and maintenance and so we've done that. Uh, we've accomplished that but here again we've had to in order to do that with the income that we have right now we've had to re reduce our normal summer force that used to be about 12 people uh, we're down to three full-time, uh, well, four full-time to include our superintendent, but the three uh, worker bees, so to speak, uh, that come down and, and help us out. And two of those three are, they fall in the category of part-time <laughs> because they come as we need them. And pretty much we need them all the time now, so they're full-time. Last year, word went out that Woodlawn was in trouble. Sloggy said that with the reduced staff, it was becoming harder to keep up on things like the lawn mowing and weed trimming. And that's when the community sprang into action. Fortuitously, through the good graces of Joyce Woodworth and many, many members of the community that came out and helped us uh, cut lawn or use the weed whackers to get around the tombstones and, and to help clean the place up of, of debris and leaves. And so we ended up, while we had a very dismal Memorial Day weekend, we were able to clear it up by July and, and, and things looked and, and took a good hand uh, uh, for the rest of the year and our existing labor force was able to pretty much keep up with it on that. But the, <clears throat> the finest example of the community coming out, realizing that we have an outstanding park-like environment for, our, for a cemetery, a non-denominational cemetery, which we have here, and, and their willingness on their part to do what they could to keep it up is, was so important for us. Woodlawn Cemetery Board Member Gordy Peterson says cash flow for the cemetery is limited. Well, from the sale of lots, of course, uh, there is some return on this, uh, was this sink <laughs> is that the word we use in a cemetery, a sinking fund? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, there's some return on that, but it's limited. Mm -hmm. uh, some very kindly donations, it's helped immensely. In addition to the sale of lots, we do have fees for opening and closing grave sites. Uh, we have we set monuments and that sort of thing uh, for, uh, for certain individuals. So we generate some income. But historically, I don't think, uh, on, other than perhaps a few cemeteries in California, cemeteries just do not cash flow. And as Gordy points out uh, correctly, we depend upon uh, the good graces and the contributions of members of the community to help us out. Uh, clearly, we can look at some of the monuments in here, the, you know, the old lumber barons, uh, people of wealth, Watkins, as we have with this one here, uh, who stepped forward many years ago to come across with a significant, significant amounts of money uh, so that we could build this fund up as that Gordy talks about. We can gather, garner some interest, uh, although these days interest payments are, are somewhat pretty meager, but we were able to do that and keep things going. 
But as time goes by and we start having to look around at the infrastructure and realizing we have to upgrade, it's a safety issue, quite frankly. We were worried about bridges falling down and people getting injured. And so uh, we've had to hit that fund uh, significantly uh, and to, to bring the place up. We still have much more to do. In order to have the park properly prepared for Memorial Day, the Woodlawn Cemetery Board is asking for the public, service organizations, or yourself to adopt a portion of the park to maintain. To be really specific on what we're asking the community to come forward uh, to help us out during the month of April and May is to come out and, and commit to themselves to a small portion, a very small, doable portion of the cemetery for weed whacking, uh, if, if we have an area that has a lot of monuments and that sort of thing, or if it's steep, geographically has, is steep to where mowers don't work very well, or bringing their lawnmowers out. Push mowers sometimes work very well. This area would work well not so, for push mowers, but not so much for the riders. And then to come out with riders. We have 14 groups as we speak right now that are, have taken little bits and pieces to do that. Uh, and so that's a, a very good start. We have one individual I can think of uh, who last year uh, took Joyce Woodworth's cue and came out every uh, once a week, usually on Wednesday, every Wednesday throughout the whole summer until the grass stopped growing and mowed a very significant portion. It was flat. He brought his John Deere tractor out. But in that whole area to the front, took it out, spent six, seven, eight hours every Wednesday. His wife uh, is, is buried here and he just felt the responsibility to do his part to keep the place up and for that we are very grateful. We have other people who have come out on a smaller scale, this was a large scale for him, but on a smaller scale and have come out periodically to help us out. But right now we're trying to garner up support, particularly for groups. Reiterating what, what Tung was saying on, on anything helps. Uh, I've been out here a couple hours at a time and a weed whip and is it a chore? Yeah, but it's you know, you, you're doing something for Winona. I think that's important. This is our town. You just look around it. This, this is a beautiful place. And I think it's so much, uh, that's why I've gotten involved. I think it's just such an important part of Winona. This is a part of us. And golly, I, I think most of the people in town have someone out here. So that's important. If you or your group would like to lend a hand to help, you can contact Tim Leahy at Woodlawn Cemetery. The number there is 452 6016.